So after spending several days tallying up the votes, I counted them all three times and I checked and rechecked that I did not count any vote twice. I'm very happy to announce the winners of the drone contest. The first prize goes to Nick Martin. So if you haven't seen the video, I'm going to play it here shortly. In less than five minutes, Nick covers every aspect of my challenge nicely and also adds an element of humour, which we all appreciated. So congratulations again, Nick. You win first prize, the Mavic Pro drone, and I will put my email address in the comments. As soon as you send me a shipping address, I will place the order for you. Now, it's your choice if you want the standard colour Mavic Pro, and I will buy you the Fly More combo, which has the extra batteries or you can have the Mavic Pro Alpine White combo, which also has extra batteries. So your choice, just tell me if you want the white one or the standard color one, and I'll get that off to you right away. And that brings us to the second place prize, which is the Nikon P900. Now, Nick was the clear winner of this contest. The number of votes he received was higher than any of the other contestants by a large margin. And I will show you the methodology of how I counted the votes shortly. But the second place was a lot closer and also put me in a position where I felt I had a bit of an ethical dilemma to allow one of the contestants to even enter the contest. And I'll talk about that now. The two entries that were vying for second place were very close in the number of votes. And they were Andre Paris and Sepp Soas. Now... I have to admit, Sepp, I was a bit reluctant to allow your entry. Your video is outstanding. It is excellent. It demonstrates every aspect of my contest. However, I did specify that it all must be on a physical model. And I did reject some of the flat earth entries because they use CGI. So don't fear, you are going to win a P900, but I'm just going to explain the reasoning behind this because I just want to make the contest completely fair and unbiased and stick to the rules to the letter. So with that said, the second prize officially goes to Andre Paris because he used the physical model which technically met every aspect of my challenge correctly. So congratulations Andre, you win the P900 camera. So having satisfied the conditions of the contest fully, Nick is the first prize winner and Andre is the second prize winner. However, as the host of this contest, that gives me the discretion to announce a bonus prize. And I'm happy to say that goes to Sepp for his excellent demonstration, which technically did not meet the challenge because there was not a physical model but it received so many favorable comments and I was impressed by the fact that he also demonstrated how the equatorial mount works on a flat earth, that it requires two axes of motion. And I recommend you watch the video for that point because it demonstrates that the equatorial mount cannot track a sun moving in a circle above a flat earth by using only a single axis of rotation. And I think that's the only fair way to do it. The first and the second prize winners satisfied every element of the challenge and the bonus P900 goes to Sepp Sowa. So congratulations guys, you have all done an excellent job and these videos will be a superb reference for anyone researching the shape of the earth. And not taking anything away from the other contestants, every entry was excellent. And I thank each and every one of you for that. They demonstrate very clearly how the elements of my challenge can be easily demonstrated on a physical model of the globe. And this is something the flat earth community have consistently failed to achieve. They have failed to demonstrate how the equinox sun angles could work on any flat earth. They have failed to demonstrate how equatorial mounts, which exist in the real world, that any amateur astronomer can go and buy an equatorial mount, polar align it for his location, and have it track the stars, the moon, and the sun 
using a single axis of rotation. It works perfectly on the globe. Flat earthers are unable to explain how it works on a flat earth. So I ask each of the contestants to contact me by email and I will arrange the $100 Amazon gift voucher to each of you as soon as possible. Now, during the preceding three months, before I opened the contest to globe-based entries, it was open only to entries based on a flat earth. And during that time, I only received one genuine entry using a physical model of a flat earth. And the contestant admitted that he could not satisfy each aspect of my challenge on the flat earth. However, in the interest of good sportsmanship and respecting the fact that he tried, I'm going to award him also a $100 Amazon gift voucher. Now, the demonstration of his model proves that these angles do not work on a flat earth, but I respect the fact that he tried. So I'm going to link to his video in the comments, and I ask that if you go and visit his channel, please respect the fact that he was the only flat earther who made a genuine attempt and he stated very clearly that he learned from the experience. So congratulations again to all the winners and all the contestants and looking forward to the next Equinox which is coming up in 164 days. Now this is the thing guys, the Equinox comes around every six months so if you're a flat earther you can't ignore it. These angles simply don't work on a flat earth. You are denying reality by ignoring the angles on the equinox, which absolutely 100% prove you live on a globe. And I almost forgot to show you the methodology for tallying up the votes. I created a small Excel spreadsheet with the contestant on the left. I had posted a link to each of the contest entries on my channel and I counted the amount of thumbs up that each of those links received. I then counted the comments for each of those links and I also counted any votes that were on the contestant's own video. Now the comment had to actually say I vote for this video. If it was just great video or excellent video, that was not counted. It had to specifically state, I vote for this video. So I think that was the fairest way to do it. I went through the numbers several times. I checked that there were no duplicate votes. The clear winner was Nick Martin. The second place winner was Sepp Soas, but as we discussed, he's getting the bonus prize. So technically, the second place winner is Andre Paris with 45 points. So that's the methodology, guys.